The first step in measuring drill cores is to move the core from the archive to the workstation. The core surface has to be reasonably clean and dry during scanning, but both core preparation and scanning can be done while the core is sitting in its original tray, saving time and effort. Metadata information like trace start and end depths and box numbers are recorded if not already available. These, along with other metadata, are later stored on disk together with the scan data. Before the scanning project starts, the workstation is adjusted for the specific core tray height, width and length, and other tray, and project-specific parameters like capture folder on disk and dataset naming. The scanning is fast, so feeding the machine with samples becomes crucial for achieving a high throughput. A roller table or conveyor system with loading-unloading buffers helps. Project, borehole and tray-specific metadata like borehole and tray numbers and core depths are entered by the operator and stored on disk along with the scan data for each core tray. Automation helps eliminate any data entry errors. A white and a dark reference scan are stored together with each individual tray scan. These are used to normalize data to reflectance and to compensate for any changes in system response with time and to ensure that data quality is high. Scanning a core tray typically takes only one to two minutes from start to finish. The data is collected and stored on disk in a single scan, capturing a full spatial image of hyperspectral data with all of the cameras simultaneously. The data is stored in a structured folder, each scan in its own folder with machine-readable metadata to enable easy batch processing for analysis. After scanning, a quality analysis and quality control routine lets the operator visually verify that the data is complete and everything is included. If needed, the data is easy to rescan at this point when the tray is still loaded in the workstation. You can reach scan rates of more than 200 core boxes shift easily. A lot depends on how effectively the core trays can be loaded into the scanner.